day is finally here, we made it, and we're ready to start a new phase of our lives. These past three years have been the best of our lives. We had a everything. Tears, love, anger, happiness, sadness, or more than that, we had so many moments that we're going to be the best memories. Words can be forgotten by time, but the moments that we share together will last forever. They say that if you don't have a storm, you won't be able to enjoy the sun. And that's why we have tears, anger, and problems. Because now, we're able to relax and enjoy the sun. We have grown not only in faith, weight, and age, but in wisdom, spirit, and force. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And look at us, we're stronger than ever. Where can I start? Everything we experienced had been incredible, but how can we forget that tiny, smelly glass that we used to have our first year? Oh my God, a lot of things happened there. We definitely won't forget the fun with the wool, and later, how we became professional desk cleaners. The Spanish sharing test, the educational writing movies, all the books that we finished in Spanish class in 10th grade, the new rules that were given by the 10th grade director, Ms. Camera, the snow in class, the mystery of the girl at the back of her classroom, the awkward questions we asked our teachers, the presentation we had to make in honors class, and how nervous we were. The reflection that some of us had, the school materials we took borrowed every time, the weekend that we were parents, and the dancing in many class, the retreats, and how can we forget the teachers? I mean, they're the best. Our math is Spanish teachers in 10th grade, and our multi-classes teachers from Mikhail. They were not only awesome, let me tell you, they were very brave to still take the challenge of giving us classes. Oh Jesus, it was a big, big challenge, and even though they're not all here, I would like to say a big, big thank you. Really, you rock. But, it would only, but I won't only talk about the Spanish teachers. I would like to talk about the English teachers too. Really, you're incredible. Coming from another country and living your family is not easy at all. But let me tell you that you all did an excellent job with us. We won't forget it. Especially the spicy ones, the smelly ones, and even the ones that we didn't like in the beginning. But then we ended up loving them. All the teachers in general, not only taught us academic knowledge, they all taught us important life lessons, values, and principles that in the end are the lessons that count and determine what type of person we will be. Thank you for your attention, patience, and advice. We are also thankful. Thank you to everyone that supported us with seminar, especially to Mr. Chiaria, believe me, we wouldn't be able to do this without your effort. Thank you to our fellow directors, generals, and all the school staff. Thanks to every member of each of our families. You are important to us, and you help to make us this possible. And of course, I would like to give the glory and honor to the one that deserves it, God. Because it's not with our own strength, but with God's. With, without Him and His huge mercy, we wouldn't be able to be standing right here where we are now. Thank you, Lord, because your plans for us are more than perfect. You love us and you know us since we were born. And it's because you want that we are here. We love you and please let your name be glorified for, by every goal we reach. Because you are the only one that deserves the glory and honor of her. More than just friends, we are, we are family. We have the opportunity of being a small group. But when we get together as a team, we are bigger and stronger than thousands of people. We are all different that's what makes us original. Seniors, I'm sure this is only one of the many goals that we are going to reach. We all have imperfections, but I know that we are more than capable to be successful and have a big future. Never give up, remember. If it's hard, it's worth it. Don't ever forget that you're not alone, because the one that has all the power is God, and He's faithful even though we're not. He's always there for you. Philippians says that we can do everything in God that is a fortress. So keep walking and remember that success Success is not measured in how far you reach, but in how many times you fell down and you stood back. We must learn from our mistakes to be wiser. We can do it. Put effort in everything you do and always do the right thing. Don't worry about material wealth. 
because that is not that is not going to last. Celestial well, that is going to last. Always stand up for your beliefs, fight for your dreams, honor your parents and authorities, and wherever you go, respect, love, and treat others as you want to be treated. I won't say goodbye because it's not day. I wish you all the success in the world. You will be forever in my heart, class of 2013. Thank you. Thank you.